So we just went over in the notes how to graph an exponential function using transformations by hand. But it's a little bit different when you are doing it in my math lab, so I thought maybe we should go over that. Here I have a question that you might see in your homework. It is the function 4 to the x plus 1. So that's the function that I'm going to graph, and I'm being asked to also um, initially graph the asymptote as well. So to do this, to get started, we're going to click this click to enlarge part, and you can see this palette um, and graph came up here. On the right-hand side are the tools that you're going to use. This curve that you see is the actual exponential tool, and it's what I'm going to click first to graph. So I can click anywhere over here in the, in the grid, and it snaps in there a parent function. Notice, however, though, that over here on the right-hand side was a box of options that came up, which is really pretty cool because you just have to be able to identify all the translations that take place, and, the, um, and it will automatically fill it in for you. But let's go over this for just a second. Going back to my function, I want to first make sure that, that we are talking about a function with a base of 4, and that came from the equation, if you can see it kind of in the background. So here in the toolbox, I'm just checking to make sure that the base is 4, and it is. The only transformation that I have going on with this function is adding a 1 to the outside of the function. Remember that that is a vertical shift. So when I come over here to this box, I identify where the vertical shift is supposed to take place. I enter a 1, and I'm going to just click or hit hit return, one of the two, uh, and notice that it shifted my graph up. I don't have any other transformations to perform in this particular example, but you can see that they're all listed for you here. Notice that the vertical and the horizontal stretching and shrinking default to a 1. Leave those alone unless you actually have a stretch or a shrink going on in your function. Leave them as a 1 because remember that vertical or horizontal stretching or shrinking has to do with multiplying or dividing. And when I multiply or divide by a 1, it doesn't have an effect, right? We still get the same number. So you just need to leave those alone for now. Okay, so I've graphed my, I've graphed my exponential function right here with a solid line. Now the next thing that I need to graph is the asymptote. The asymptote is going to be um, a horizontal line, right? So I need to click on the line tool, and my horizontal asymptote was at y is equal to 0, but it has now been shifted up to y equals 1. So I'm going to click any point along the y equals 1 line, and you can see that my yellow line appeared here. It didn't matter what values I picked as long as I am drawing a horizontal line intersecting the y-axis at y equals 1. However, I do want this asymptote represented by a dotted line, so I'm going to make it a dotted line right there. And I'm done, so I click Save, and you can see that I have my graph up here. You're going to check your answer. You're going to check your answer, so we better save it check the answer, and we got a nice work. From there, I think you can move on through the problem, but I wanted to show you how to use that tool.